Hey, today I'm using Adobe's Character Animator for the first time. Follow along and see how easy this program is to use and how insanely fun it is. All right, so on your tablet or phone, you're gonna to wanna to open up Capture and make sure you're on the Shapes tab. By hitting the plus button, you're gonna open up a new document. You'll wanna switch into selfie mode and by touching the screen, you can see what your vector image will actually look like. Um, so you can either choose to focus on the highlights or on the shadows. In this case, the highlights is a little too much, so let's go back to shadows. And you can just move the slider up and down to get the right look. Um, so yeah, take your picture and if there's anything you don't like, you can zero in and just use the erase function and take that out. And yep, so just make those little modifications. And then when you're done, you're going to want to click next to move to the next screen. You can also crop it if you want, but let's just move to the next screen since we're happy with that. Now there's a smoothing effect um, that you can either switch on or off. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to render, so I'm going to speed this up a little. Um, the really fun thing about this is that you can basically, uh, when you're done with this image, you're going to want to plug it into Photoshop. Uh, or you can also use Illustrator if you're more comfortable in Illustrator because basically these are, uh, this is basically just a vector image. All right, looks like it's done. I'm just going to name it so I can recognize it when I find it in my library. And there it is. So now I'm going to head over to Photoshop. All right, so we're up and running. And uh, for the sake of time, I went ahead and separated all the images. But first, I'm going to show you what the first step was. So when I opened up a new document in Photoshop, I went to my libraries and I scrolled down to the graphics. And here's where all your capture images are going to be located. So on this new document, basically what you're going to do is just take each image that you've captured, drag it onto your canvas and you're going to want to separate them in um, individual layers that you are, need to make this puppet work. So first thing, I'm just going to show you exactly what that means. The first and foremost thing you want to have is your background, your canvas. So if I turn this off, you're going to see that my hair and the background of the image is all one image. I decided to keep it just really simple since this is the first time using Animator. I wanted to zero in really on the facial expressions. So that's just what I did. But of course, you can make it as complicated as you want. Um, so I guess we'll start with uh, the mouth. I'm just going to expand this here. As you can see, um, I'm currently on a neutral expression. So that's one of the images that I captured. I erased everything else out of the picture and just isolated that one neutral lip that I have. Okay. All right. So in that case, you've got a different layer. If I want to swap it out for a smile, I've got the smile and you get the general idea. Okay. So let's just put the neutral back on and I'll close that up uh, onto the eyes. So if you look at the eyes, I'm going to expand this one too. Um, the pupil is separate from the eyeball as well. And while I've got them turned off, I'll show you what the blink looks like. And there you go. So I'm going to turn that back on and get the eyes back on. All these are their own layer and that's how character animator works. Next, so we had obviously had to do it for the eyebrows and the other eye as well as the nose. So I've got all my layers. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to save this and head to the next step, which is opening up character animator. Okay, so over here, um, first of all, you've got the welcome tab. Um, there's some great tutorials on the welcome tab if you want to have a peek at those. Lots of super great information that was put out by Adobe. Um, we're just going to go straight for it, uh, plug and play basically. Uh, this tutorial that was uh, put out to us by the instructors was very easy to follow. Um, and so basically you're just going to import your document. Um, so right here I don't see my puppet so I'm just going to head over here to uh, import and find my document. Yeah, so it's the mommy muppet. Yeah, import that. It takes one little second. Um, if you don't see yourself up here in the corner, uh, just select on the uh, webcam here. See, so, you now I've just turned it off and I'm back on. And also, you want to make sure your microphone is selected as well so that your audio obviously comes through. If you can't find your source up here in the camera microphone, there's also um, the option to select another camera. 
However, this one seems to be working just fine for me. All right, so um, I'm going to take my Mommy Muppet. As you can see, it does say um, you need to select your puppet. So I'm just going to take my puppet, drag it down onto the timeline. And over here, yep, yeah, there she is. Ah, <laughs> so funny. Um, so now what I need to do is set a rest pose so that, you know, all the features know how to react accordingly to what my face is actually doing. So looking straight into the webcam, I'm going to click set rest pose. And now you can see all the um, tagged features are showing on my face. All right, uh, I guess the next thing to do is just go ahead and have fun with it. There is the option to uh, press record, which I will. I'm just going to do a little recording right now. And you'll see, I think the webcam just shuts itself off uh, when you're doing that. And it turns right back on when you're done recording. So here we go. All right, this is my first test recording using the uh, character animator record function. And everything seems to be working really well. I'm going to stop it now and have a listen. All right, so let's get this playback going. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the start. Play. All right, this is my first test recording using the uh, character animator record function, and everything seems to be working really well. I'm going to stop it now and have a listen. Okay. There's something about those eyebrows, they look kind of angry. <laughs> anyway, I plan on tweaking that to make myself look a little friendlier and maybe a bit more appealing. Anyhow, thanks for uh, following along on this tutorial. Um, I know, shh, I'm doing something. Um, so <laughs> I know my kids had a lot of fun with this. Sorry, Miley, this kind of happened. I can't like a wrecking ball. Lonely been I wanted to break the wall. Uh, this is the worst song I've ever heard. Na, 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 na. So that about sums it up. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did and I know the kids did. Um, <laughs> so go out, make your own cartoon, let me know what you think, and have fun doing it. See you next time. I think it just winked at me. Yeah, I know. So that about sums it up.